and he's always boisterous, boasting, arrogant. And he's calling other people arrogant. Let me tell you, you will call people names. What other work do you do than television broadcasting? How much are you being paid? My people, another video is finally here. Another video is finally here. A lot is happening in the political zone. Something is finally happening now. Rufayo Senior of Arise News is in hot fire now. You know, I said this on days ago in one of my videos where Rufayo Senior of Arise News was exposing the secret of Bola INF. I said they may come for Rufayo Senior. They will finally come for Rufayo Senior of Arise TV. Just because this guy stand out and he speak the truth regarding what happened in course of the election. He exposed Inubu, he exposed Ainek Shaman, the person of Mamo Yakubu. So they finally come for him. Rufa is already on all fire now. But that I would like you guys to share this video. If you can share it, so share it to different social media platforms. And if you can share it, just like it, give it a thumb up so that YouTube will recommend it for us. Stay connected as you see what is going on. I'm coming back again. Welcome you back to Lajibong Wash TV. I don't have bad news for you today. The whole of religious gossip. And the boys will leave the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian world? Join now to make sense with Lajibong. Hello my great and wonderful viewers, welcome here back to Life of Watch TV. For those of you coming to the channel for the very first time, ensure you click the red subscription button in your video screen and do well to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in a few hours time, YouTube will easily let you to know. A big thanks to all our returning subscribers. I appreciate you guys. So the update I have for you today is still on the political zone. A lot keep happening in the political zone, you know, since when they conducted the election on the 25th of February 2023, a lot of things happened in the course of the election. It's normally known that there are voters intimidation, voters bullying, and a lot of shenanigan behavior, and there are a lot of voter suppression. Talks coming to different polling units all across Nigeria and bullying people and telling them who to vote for. If you're not voting for APC, you go back to your house. A lot of things happen in the course of the election, and yet the Nigeria policemen are in different police units without doing anything regarding what the talks are doing in different police units during the election day and at the end of the day with the 24 hours i next chairman the person of Mama Yakubu announced Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the president elect, even for the fact that everything that happened in the course of the election, the electoral malpractices went in favor of the APC candidate, the person of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. You know, since then, the media have been boiling regarding all these things. Obi went to court, the court asked him to provide 50 evidences, which he provided, but he was able to tender 13 of the evidences. And even Atiku was asked to present 100 evidences and was able to tender. 27 evidences out of the 100 evidences due to the short time that the tribunal gave to them now something happened i would like you guys to share this video if you can share it share it to different social media platform and if you can't share it just like it give it a thumb up like the video so that youtube will recommend it for us a lot of journalists all across Nigeria, they have been keeping much regarding what happened in the course of the election, most especially TVC. TVC have always kept silent regarding the election thing, but Arise TV and Channel Television, they are never biased. They speak about what happened in the course of the election, and they speak the truth regarding the election. They call on politicians, they make debate with them, and they say all sorts of things. I ask them different questions, the ones they can answer and the ones they can't answer. Most especially Arise TV presenter, the person of Rufai, saying this man have been one of the best journalists in Nigeria a rice TV presenter Rufai Oseni and Chinese television presenter Shion Joaquin Baloye these two guys have been one of the most prominent journalist as far as Nigeria is concerned. So Rufai is already on hot fire, you know. Rufai have exposed a lot of secrets regarding Aine Kambola and Mentinubu with everything that they did in the course of the election. The magic that was performed in the course of the election by Aine Chairman, Rufai exposed everything. I even as well, she was in Palu, your channel television, he exposed a lot of things to through the questions that he was asking Festus Okoye in their TV. Festus Okoye fell on the trap of Shion Okimbaloye and also Festus Okoye and some other INEC officials and also some APC officials. They fell in the trap of Rufai Osenio of Arise TV due to the questions that Rufai asked them in television station that they don't have the answer to. You know, I said it in one of my videos recently. I said they may be coming for Rufai Osenio. Like as if I've seen it. So they finally come for Rufai Osenio. We love our Rufai Osenio. Pray for Rufai Osenio because a lot is going on regarding Rufai Osenio at the moment. They finally call for Rufai Osenio as Sally Dokubo, you know, 
That man was S militant and was working for Tinubu. This man worked for Tinubu. Everything he does is all in favor of Tinubu. The man supported everything that happened in the course of the election. The process that brought Tinubu in as the president elect and even the president of Nigeria, Asari Dokubo supported the motion. He supported the voters intimidation and all of that. Now that Asari Dokubo was on fire some days ago regarding what he had been saying on media. Even Rufai spoke about him, but that man had finally come for Rufai Hosseini on behalf of Bola and meant Tinubu. You know, not only him, even when Rufai Hosseini was interviewing Ayodele Fayoshi, the ex-governor of Pekiti State, he almost turned to the fight in Arise TV, he almost fought Rufai Hosseini of Arise TV in a live television broadcast. You know, it was even Dr. Ruben Abati, one of the TV presenters in Arise TV, that was trying to settle the case between them in the public television station. They were live. So a lot of politicians really mean Rufai Hosseini. They don't like him for anything because he always stands with the truth and he asks them questions that sound interrogative. The questions that Rufai used to ask them sound interrogative and if care is not taken, they would dig out their pokes in the question. So by so doing, they don't like Rufai Hosseini. Many of the Nigerian politicians, like 90% of Nigerian politicians, dislike Rufai Hosseini because they believe that he stands by the truth and they believe that he stands by the masses and also they believe he stands for Peter Obi. They believe Rufai Hosseini was obedient because when Tinubu lost Lagos State, Rufai Hosseini was caught on camera on a rice TV dance Buga and jubilating for the fact that the city boy, Tinubu, lost his city that he claims that he come from like the people of lagos did not vote for tinubu so that thing have been happening there have been that propaganda right from time regarding rafael saying they dislike him so much so something is going on which i want to open your eyes to through this video because i will show you the video now so i would like you guys to stay connected as you watch what is going on between rafael saying tinubu's team and others stay connected and coming back again <laughs> that was the first time I was me, I was myself, and the president now went to see Atiku. The second time was after the release of uh, uh, Alamesia from prison. So I went to see Alamesia in his house in Lagos. And I went there with Ahmed Bola Tinibu, president now, to see Alamesia. And later on, that same day, I think I saw Atiku on two occasions. After that, I had seen Atiku on several occasions. I have nothing against Atiku. And that's why I have not said anything against Atiku. I have nothing against Atiku. In all the period I met with him, he received me. I have met with his children. Two of his children, I think Amina and uh, her husband and uh, one of the males. Now, Arise TV, whatever Bailin the Bible now may have with uh, Tinibu, are taking it upon itself. The day they said Tinibu lost Lagos, a journalist, Rufai was dancing, Bugao, his Buga just ended. But let me come, what gives it a journalist that sort of audacity? a journalist that sort of audacity arrogance to feel that he is more citizen than all other people now i want to ask is there a constitution in nigeria is there a constitution in nigeria and what does the constitution give to citizens in nigeria does it compartmentalize citizen to journalists, to this, to that, and make them more important than any other citizen? A television broadcaster had been the larger than life image of himself. A larger than life image of himself. 
and he's always boisterous, boasting, arrogant. And he's calling other people arrogant. Let me tell you, you will call people names. What other work do you do than television broadcasting? How much are you being paid? First, let us start. How much are you being paid as a television broadcaster? I would even call you a journalist because you never you never read journalism. The English you are speaking, I am also speaking it. I can be a broadcaster like you. I can be a broadcaster like you. Nothing other than that you are big an enemy. That's what is making you popular. You are big an enemy. And those who hate to see those who are better than them have all congregated around you and you now think that you are a you now think and assume that you are now a colossus what other value do you add to society that you Rufai can go to the villa a citizen but I the Basari cannot go to the villa a citizen people listening to you nothing they don't have anything the constitution is the grand norm of society and the constitution guarantees equality of right to all citizens including the president and the smallest person anywhere first you gave me a name militant did, did you see anything in my name that looks like a militant? I am Mujahid Abubakr Dokhbasare. So you can attach a name to me and feel that I should accept that name. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh. How much is Biden paying you? is of Biden paying you at Arise. Arise was not noticed. Nobody knew Arise until you started espousing anti-state propaganda. Anti-state propaganda. So those, the IPOPs, you caught the enemies of Nigeria. They start to hail you. That was what they become. How many people were watching Arise? So since you are a state enemy, since you are chosen to be a state enemy and align with those who are state enemies, you have suddenly become popular. And you now saw, you are now seeing yourself as a colossus, big. You are nothing. A colossus with a feet of clay. A colossus with a feet of clay. You people survive through handout. Just handout. Brown envelope. Becky Becky. Bambiara. That's what you are. We all know this thing. are you being paid see let me tell you everywhere I go to I go to is business I look for I, I pray to my God and the next thing is business genuine business 
I have never done any business that is not genuine. Now I want to come, I want to come to one man you brought, retired colonel, so arrogant, Asan Stein Lambo. He's an obese supporter. So arrogant. Because you went to NDA and became a military officer gives you the right to feel that you are superior to other people. What, is, what contribution did you make to Nigeria? Where in Nigeria did you defend? Throughout your career as a military man, I'm asking you, where did you defend in Nigeria? We have Boko Haram. Did you defend? Did you go to defend Nigeria? We have this thing. Did you go to defend? You come and talk rot. Hey, they should be in that gentleman. Hey, now the camera should be released. You are not here. You have not seen his videos. Where he's saying they should kill. You have not seen his video where he said he has set up ESN. You have not seen his video where he has gone to beg for arms to kill people. Throughout our struggle, whether it is me, it is Tom Polo, it is any other person in the Niger Delta, did you see us ask, even with our capacity, did you one day see us in any video, including me that talks, where we say kill police, kill army? Have you ever heard of say that? It's not that we're afraid. We are not after the ordinary military men. They are not the, 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 the cravers of the law. They didn't make the law. They're just doing their job. So they can never be our target, and they've never been our target. Look at throughout the history, the, 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 the two of us, maybe myself and Tom Polo. Even others. How many times did you hear that any one of us attend the military? Attack the military. If the military comes to attack us, the military come to attack us, we will fight back and defend our life. But we have never uh, initiated attack. We even move away. When the military is coming, we are the masters of our own area. We move away. Did Tompolo not walk away from Camp 5? Did he not walk away from Iroko? We walk away. Because our target is not the ordinary policeman, it's not the ordinary air force man, it's not the ordinary navy man, it's not the ordinary army man. We have nothing. They did not make the law. Our effort is the law, the law that takes our resources, the law that takes our land. That's what we are after. Maybe the military man is an horrible man, where he just. Maybe the military man is a Zango Katar man. Maybe the military man is a full animal. Maybe the military man is an evil man. Why would we bother our head? We have never bothered. Go and check our record. We've never bothered. In Bukuma alone, 63 mobile police with all their arms were captured and allowed handed over to police people to go. None of them was slapped. None of them was molested. Even though they were shooting at our people until they surrender, none of them died. None of them was molested. This was way back in 2004. None of them. I still meet some of them. This is somebody instructing that military people should be killed, military cars should be taken, it is displayed, uh, the houses and businesses of Amebola Tinibu should be born, this one, that one, this one, that one, it was somebody who had made broadcast, all these broadcasts, uh, uh, and a 
energize people, militarize them to go and kill innocent people. This is a man who plays a bounty. This is a man who plays a bounty on the head of a sitting governor of a state, river state. Hundred million naira that is wicked should be brought dead or alive. And some of us could not take it, even though we are wicked enemies. We are not in good terms with wicked. We saw River State that somebody, an evil man. Whether we voted with it, whether we support, whether I supported, we can support me and my people. We saw it as the greatest insult on the rivers people, and we stood up and we confronted them and we put them out of our state. Without one cover from Wiki. Without one cup of run wiki. We put them out of our state. Because tomorrow they will come and tell them, you strong, they can't catch your governor. They're not gonna say me and wiki uh, the quarter. You say you strong, they can't catch your governor going off the top, now they can't run out. Till today I'm not with his friend. You are a colonel because you retired at the colonel. Do you know how many military people in my family that have retired? So you come here, you run your mouth, talk unnecessarily. Stupid idiot. You insult people with so much arrogance. I see when you carry gun, I carry gun, you go if you kill me. You are hiding under the military uniform, the taxpayers uniform, uh, Comrador spirit, so that other military people will support you. If not you, 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 this thing, as a labo, you go if you talk on my front. You go if you talk on my front. Thank you for staying connected, my great and wonderful viewers. I believe you really heard what Asari Dukubo as many times for say regarding Rufai Oseni. You know, he expressed his mind based on the fact that he dislike Rufai Oseni because he feel that Rufai Oseni is kind of a pompous news broadcaster. I was even agitating on the fact that Rufai Oseni is not a journalist, that he did not study journalism, that Rufai Oseni is a mere broadcaster because you feel like Rufai Oseni is kind of arrogant for the fact that he is interrogating all those politicians when Whenever they come in their television station at Rice TV, he noticed the fact that Rufai Selin used to pull out some level of intellectual questions just for him to get the right answer and the secret of what the politicians are hiding based on his questions. Now, by so doing, a lot of politicians dislike him, and even aside the cover, the ex militant dislike Rufai Oselin because you can see in that video he was trying to underrate him and just belittle him based on the fact that he feel that Rufai have risen more than his own imagination and his own self. So according to Asani Tokubo and some other politicians, they believe that Rufai Oseni is an obese supporter, that Rufai Oseni is obedient. That is what a lot of politicians says. And mind you, as far as constitution is concerned, a journalist or a news presenter is not to come out publicly to unveil who is supporting as far as the political game is concerned. All journalists have their own personal supporter, but they must not bring it out to the general public for the general public to know who they're supporting because the constitution says as an electoral fraud. So that is what Asai Dokuba was saying. He said Rufai did not have the right to talk to some other politicians, calling them names, 
telling them they're arrogant. He said if Rufai is saying that the other politicians are arrogant, calling their different name, what are we going to call Rufai Hussein? And that is what the man is saying. So Rufai Hussein has been on a hot fire from this particular man and some other politicians. Even right from time, Rufai Hussein of a Rice TV have been facing a lot of things like that. A lot of people calling him out in different social media platforms. And at times his life will be on threat. So there is not the first time that this has been happening to Rufai Hussein. That been happening to Rufai Hussein in life from time. So what do you guys think? Do you really think it's very bad for someone to come out publicly and address what is happening in the country? As a journalist, your work is to address issues, matters arising in the country, and matters arising among politicians, and even among common men. It's the work of the journalist to bring things to the table of the masses, just for the masses to know what is happening in their society. And for people that need to be questioned, maybe the people that did some level of things in the society, if the masses need to question them, the, all the masses cannot go out to question them at the same time. It is the work of the journalist to question the people on behalf of the masses, most especially the politicians. It is the responsibility and the obligation of the journalists and non broadcaster to question them just for the masses to know what is going on and what's up. But the table have now turned to the extent that if Rafael is sending asking their question, they became very furious and angry because they don't have the answer to the question or they don't want to say the truth of the matter in that very question. So by so doing, they dislike Rufai Hussein all around the Federation and even Shane Walking Baloyi of Shannon's television have also been the talk of the day because she wants to ask intelligent questions and all these people are not friendly with all these questions that these two news broadcasters and journalists used to ask them. They see the question as questions that are not palatable, questions that are not of concern to them. They see the questions as questions that are not palatable to them. So by so doing, they fall in love with some other journalists across the Federation because all other journalists will never ask them intellectual questions. All the other journalists we have in Nigeria will never see the truth of the matter. They will never hit the lean on the head. All they do is to ask and paraphrase on the question and rubbing the table on the head. But Trevor Hussein and Shio Kimbalo of Chinese television will go deeper into the issue and they will ask intellectual questions that will dig out the truth of the matter. So what do you guys think? I'd like you guys to drop your opinion in the comment section of this video. Is it really wrong for the journalists to speak their mind and ask intellectual questions in their TV stations and even in the debate that they're making with all these political powers? Drop your opinion in the comment section of this video as Rufa is on fire from us Sorry, the combo now. As I'm going under to get another tunnel for you, ensure following all my social media handles on Facebook at Lipo Watch TV and Lipo Entertainment on Instagram at Lipo. Guess what, guys? See you in my next video. <laughs>